there! Today, I'm going to take you 2,000 years back in time! I want to tell you about this one time when Paul was in Athens, in Greece. The people of Athens believed in many different gods or idols. All these countless gods, and they don't believe in the one and living God? To the unknown God. Huh. Bless our crops, O Demeter, and give us rain so that we have a rich harvest. Mom! Mom! Look over there! I wonder what's happening. Uh, just another big talker, I suppose. But let's hear what he has to say. Why do you make offerings to idols, which are only made of stone? How can they help you? Let me tell you about Jesus Christ, who was a real man who was raised from the dead. Uh, Mom, did that really happen? I've never heard of it before, but I would like to know more about this man, Jesus. Yes, we should take this babbler to the Areopagus so he can explain himself. They brought Paul to Areopagus Hill where the people of Athens loved arguing and talking about new ideas. Foreigner, you are bringing some strange ideas to our ears. Explain yourself. People of Athens, I see that you worship many different gods. But I found an altar saying, To the unknown god. So, let me tell you who this is. God, who made the world and everything in it, gives life and breath to all things. He has made all of us and knows exactly what will happen to us and where we live. He wants us to seek him, though he is not far from each one of us. God is not like gold or silver or stone, something man-made, a piece of art. Now he commands all people to repent. He will judge the world by Jesus, the man whom he has chosen. We know this is true because he was raised from the dead. Who ever heard of such a thing? Now we know you're crazy! No, I don't think he's crazy. I would like to hear more about this. Yes, so would I. I've always wondered if there really was an unknown god. I feel like this man is telling the truth. Which of the other gods has ever done something for us anyway? And he said we have to repent. I felt like that was meant for me. Several of the people in Athens turned away from idols and became followers of Jesus. And to this day, there are still many idols, even if it's not giving offerings to statues. You see, idols can be anything that we love more than living for God. Paul wanted people to repent from having such idols and instead become followers of Jesus. That's what I really want to do. And what about you? So, thanks for following along with this story. I'll see you in another episode of Bible Heroes of Faith. See ya! Oh, 
Hey there! If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up or share it with a friend. Hit subscribe to never miss a new episode and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!